In this video, we're going to talk about how you do linear regression using the TI-84 calculator. Uh, this really works with any of the TI series. Um, in this particular problem, we have a set of data here that what we'd like to do is try to find a line of best fit. In order to uh, find the best equation that goes through all of those, what we need to do first is to enter all of our data. To enter data on the TI, we want to hit the Stat button and then choose Edit. This will allow us to, to enter in lists. First of all, you want to make sure that you have List 1 and List 2 and that you've cleared out any data that's already in there. To clear out data, use the up arrow to highlight the name of the uh, of the column and then hit clear and enter. That will wipe out all the data in one fell swoop. Do the same thing over here. Use the arrows to highlight L1, hit clear and enter. Now, here we want to let uh, our X or input values be the number of days hiking and our Y or output values be the distance in miles. All of the X inputs will go here into list one. So I'm gonna put in all of the days of hiking that I have data for, so 0, 32, 47, 73, 99, and 123. Then I'm going to arrow over here to L2, and I'm going to put in all of my distances in miles. 0, 590, 912, 1,112, or 212 rather, 1,876, and then 2,200, which gets uh, our friend Scott to the end of his hike. Now the first part of the problem here in part A asks us to determine the equation of the regression line and round that to two decimal places. To find the equation of the regression line, the first thing that we want to do is to go into the stat button here, arrow over to calculate the calc menu, and because we want to find the equation of a regression line, of the form y equals ax plus b, the first thing that we're going to want to do here is come down to linreg ax plus b and choose that option. Uh, if you have choices here, go ahead and arrow all the way through all of them till you calculate. And here you're, you're going to see your linear equation. Up at the top, notice it says y equals ax plus b, and then it gives you the value for a and b that you want to plug into that equation. So for our part a here, what we can do then is go ahead and write y equals our a is the 18.007x, or I guess, eh, we'll just do x. I guess it should be t, really, but that's okay. Um, plus our b, which in this case is 9.222. Um, I guess, so that will be our linear regression equation as we start out. The next question here asks us to look at a scatter plot of the data to decide if it actually looks linear or not. Your calculator can draw a sketch of the scatter plot here. Um, often what you want to do here is first of all make sure that in the y equals equation line that you've cleared out any data that's there. And then we want to go to zoom and choose, there's an option here, you can arrow down, it says zoom stat. There it is, option 9 on my calculator here. Um, if you click on zoom stat and it doesn't, nothing shows up, then sometimes you need to turn the stat plot on. We can turn on stat statistics plots by hitting second y equals, that brings up the stats plot menu, and then we can choose option one here, we wanna turn stats plots to on. Um, and then we can go back and try to click on the graph button. We'll go to zoom, zoom stat, enter. There they are. And so now you can see all of our points here. Looking at the picture, I would say that looks pretty darn close to a line. So based on looking at my scatter plot, not exactly linear, but definitely qualifies here as approximately linear. In order to validate if those points are a really good fit or not, what we'd like to be able to do is look at the R value for our equation. That came up when we ran the linear regression. So if you go back to our linear equation screen here, Remember it said a, b, and then there was that r squared value. We can look at that r squared value here. It's 0 0.993. 0 0.993 is really close to one. So this is a good fit. Remember, if it's close to one, it's a good fit. And if it's close to zero, it's a bad fit. So our r squareds will always be decimals in between there. Awesome. 
Okay, so that gets us that this is pretty linear, and this is the very best equation that we possibly could have. From here on out, all the other questions are going to come back and refer to our e regression line. This is the best fit model that we have for this situation for Scott. Part C, it asks, what is the slope of our regression model? Rem well, remember, the slope is always the value in front of the x. So here, our slope is 18.007, and it should relate to some kind of rate of change of what's going on. In this case, we're looking at the days, how the days hiking relates to the miles. So in this case, our slope is the miles that that person covered, that Scott covered each day on average. Obviously, it's not going to be a perfect fit, but it should be pretty darn close. For part D, it asks us to use our model, estimate the total number of miles that Scott had hiked in 50 days. All right, well, in our equation, the number of days is x, so we're going to put that 50 in instead of x in my equation. And now, because I can just plug that in in my calculator and see what I get. So I can come over here and do 18.007 times 50 plus 9.222, hit enter, and I get 909.6. Um, and so we'd expect after 50 days he should be pretty close to that. Uh, for the last problem, it asks us to using, use our model estimate when Scott will have hiked 1,000 miles. So this time, we, want, we know the number of miles, so we're going to plug that into the y value in our equation and solve for x this time. So it's just a matter of deciding which spot you put those values and variables in. In order for me to finish this particular equation, then, what I need to do is just solve for x. Um, I'm out of space, so I'll just talk about the steps here. I'm going to start by subtracting 9.222 from each side. So I'm going to have 1,000 minus 9.222. Then I'll need to divide both sides by 18.007 to finish getting the x by itself. And in this particular case, I should expect to hit 1,000 miles after about 55 days. And that should correlate pretty well with what we were talking about here, right? He did 909 miles in 50 days, so we'd be up close to 1,000 miles by 55 days, going about 18 miles per day. So anyway, that's the way that we can use our calculator in order to figure out a linear regression equation. And most of all this fun stuff all hides in the stat menu right there. Hope that helped.